Hi, I'm Bill Gerstel with a video demonstration for my book, The Practical Pyromaniac. In the book, I talk about the great scientists of the 18th and 19th century, those men who carved out our understanding of what fire really is. Some of those names, for instance George Manby, Benjamin Thompson, you may not know already, but others, such as Benjamin Franklin and Joseph Priestley, you probably do. Now, of all the scientists I talk about in my book, my favorite was Michael Faraday. Faraday was perhaps the greatest experimental scientist of all time. He was a real hands-on guy, and he liked nothing better than to get his hands dirty, try things out, and to see what happens. Now, in The Practical Pyromaniac, you can read about how Michael Faraday explained the true nature of fire to his students. Not only was he a great lecturer, but he did some wonderful experiments and demonstrations as well. And I think I would have loved to have had Faraday as my teacher. Here's an experiment that Faraday once did for an audience. It's simple, but you'll need to watch carefully. I've lit this candle. I'm going to light this match now and then blow out the candle flame. You see that smoke coming up? I can relight it by holding the match flame in the trail of smoke. There's unburned hydrocarbons there that trail all the way back down to the wick. In his lectures, Faraday also showed how he could show the temperature variations within a candle flame with a single piece of typing paper. Basically, he would hold the paper over the flame and it would produce a dark ring. The darker the color, the hotter the flame temperature. Uh, watch. If I hold this over the flame just for a moment, you can see there's a very dark ring around the perimeter and it's uh, lighter inside. This shows that in a candle flame, the hottest temperatures are at the perimeter. Let's try that again. Again, you can see the variations in temperature as outlined by the dark rings. Now, if you do do this experiment, be sure you have a bucket of water handy, because if you hold it in there too long, this will happen, and you'll need a way to put it out in a hurry. So, better safe than sorry.